Hi, my name is Jesse Haworth. I'm a technical support engineer here at Hawkridge Systems, and thanks for joining us today for another video in our technical support series. Today we'll be going through the issue of locked subscription areas within the SolidWorks customer portal. So although this particular account is not locked at the moment, uh, here's a brief illustration that shows what the issue looks like. Uh, essentially, padlock icons prevent you from accessing subscription areas of your account, such as downloads and updates where you can download service packs, uh, or the knowledge base. If your license does maintain an active subscription, we find that this problem most often occurs when an account is not associated with the latest version of an asset. Uh, this issue should be resolved by registering your license as an up-to-date product version. To accomplish this, we first need to navigate to the Register My Products link, which is found here. Once you started the registration process, you should see an area where you can input your subscription serial number. Uh, you'll want to type your full serial number here, uh, which is 24 characters long. Note that you'll want it to appear with no spaces, so if you're copying your serial number from an email uh, or within SolidWorks itself, uh, you may need to remove the included spaces so that it all fits. Uh, here's a simplified example of the formatting that it should appear as uh, with no spaces. So to proceed with the registration process, I'll go ahead and copy and paste one of our serial numbers here. And once you've inputted your full serial number, just click Next. Once you've clicked Next, you should be at the version page, uh, which will ask you for the version of your product. Uh, to input a version, click on this little yellow checkbox right here, which should load a completely separate window that allows you to select your version. Uh, some browsers, such as Chrome, which is what I'm using now, may not load this window uh, fully sized, so you will potentially need to resize it. Once the window is fully visible, you will see a potentially long list of selectable versions. Uh, for the purpose of unlocking an account and resolving the issue, we will want to select the most up-to-date version that is listed, which at the time of this video is SolidWorks 2017. Note that even if you are not intending to download this particular release, uh, registering your product as an up-to-date version will not prevent you from downloading or installing less up-to-date versions of the software. So once you've selected the most up-to-date version applicable, just simply click OK. Uh, note that if you don't see the most up-to-date release listed here, then you may need to navigate to the next page of products that is listed uh, by checking up here and clicking on the uh, next record button. So once we've selected the most up-to-date version, uh, you'll see that the changes that we implemented are recorded here. So we can click Next. Once we've clicked Next, uh, we should get a message that says your serial number has been registered, uh, where we can click Next again. And this should take us back to the main page of the SolidWorks customer portal. So at this point, you should be able to access all the subscription areas of your customer portal account, such as downloads and updates, knowledge base, enhancement requests, uh, things like that. If you find that this isn't the case, uh, please feel free to contact Hawkridge Systems Technical Support, and we can work with SolidWorks to figure out what's going on with your account and resolve the issue. Uh, we can also potentially get you a download if you are looking to actually download the software but are being prevented from doing so. Thanks everyone for your time. I hope this helps. Feel free to check out our website or the rest of our YouTube videos for more troubleshooting tips and tricks. Thanks and have a great day.